Okay. Um, what's up, people? All the people that are watching right now. Uh, this is going to be a quick, easy little tutorial stream on how to set up a stream. Particularly the stream that we will be giving you as the SSB64 League. Um, we want we, people to the stream their weeklies. We want people to stream people their regionals, all that stuff. Um, and we're trying to get people to do that all on one channel. Uh, one problem with this is getting the resources to everybody and then making sure people actually know how to do this. Um, you know, most most people, they, they know basic OBS. They can set up some text fields. They can put some graphics in there. But you actually don't need to do that with what we're giving you now. Um, so it'll look much cleaner. You don't have to have me and Soto yelling at you that player two has much bigger font than player four. It's really freaking annoying. Um, but you won't have to worry about that anymore. This will do most of the work for you. And it'll look great. Um, so first off, anybody that is interested in this, message me, Dark Horse, message Soto, message someone in the league, and we will give you access to this folder on our Google Drive, full stream program. That's just what we call the folder. We can call it whatever you want. But you will download this off of the Google Drive. Um, once you have that, just throw it on your desktop, throw it wherever you want on your computer, it doesn't matter. Um, oh yeah, I should also start off by saying that I will be doing this tutorial, I will show you how to set this up in OBS Studio. Um, I know a lot of people don't use OBS Studio, you use OBS Classic. I recently just switched, so it's whatever, this should work no matter what. Um, I'll go over very small differences between them. but. All the, this video will be showing you how to set it up in studio. So I'll start off with a blank scene right here, blank scene, and show you how to do it. But for now, boom, you got your full stream program. It'll come with a bunch of stuff, right? It will come with overlays for one, two, three, four, five different scenes. Now, obviously, you don't have to use them all, but we have a scene for singles, we have a scene for doubles. And each of those comes with a one cam overlay or a double cam overlay. And I also have one commentary scene. Um, all the overlays are right here in your overlay folder. Boom, boom, boom. See? Actually, you won't be able to see when I pull that up. But we have your overlays right here. Um, oh my god, I just broke something. Uh, you don't have to ever mess with this folder. This has things like character icons and a bunch of fancy stuff. You don't even need to mess with that. Uh, audio, I just included a bunch of the stuff that I used at Let's Go. A lot of the royalty-free music from OC Remix. There's about an hour's worth of video game themed music on here. So you have that. And I thought I had a video folder. Where'd that thing go? Oh, I put it over here. Yeah, I'll put that in there too. Uh, I will be adding a videos folder for you um, as I work on more like broadcast transition stuff. So right now, you'll have one video. Cool. So that's all the stuff you need. It's all in one folder. Now, some of you may have used Shears old program, Stream Manager. Some of you may be using Scoreboard Assist. Now you will be using this, Stream Control. This program is actual magic. It's incredible. Um, everything will be set up on here for you. So use this program. It is this thing right here. You'll see we have tabs already built in for you for singles, doubles, and commentary. You can ignore these three tabs. Um, Maybe we'll make a thing for crew battles. Don't worry about it right now. Right now you have your scoreboard for singles and doubles, and you have a commentary tab for commentators. 
So cool. This is stream control. This is what you'll be using. Awesome. We'll get back to that. So first, just so we have something on the screen, let's add our overlay. So we go to image. I right click, went to add, going to image, um, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call my overlay. And now I have to find our image. Hopefully at this point in your computer lives, you know how to find files. But just go to wherever your uh, wherever you put the folder. Mine is buried in lots of stuff. Uh, let's see, which overlay do we want? Let's set up a double cam. Let's set up double cam singles. So boom, we are here. Got it. Um, Microsoft OneDrive, leave me alone. OK, so we have our overlay. Looks beautiful. Uh, but it is lacking some video sources. So let's put those in. So you, know, you go to your video capture device for your cameras. Um, if you're using this overlay, you have two cameras. So make sure you grab those. Video capture device, find your camera, whatever, throw it in there. I don't know where it is. I'm just gonna go back and add the one I already have. But you go in, you go into your video sources, video capture device, create a new one. I'm adding one that I already have. You'll go to create new, you'll find your camera. It'll be gigantic on your screen. Click one of the little circles in the bottom corner or top corner. Resize. Put it wherever you want. And just make sure that your player cam is underneath your overlay. Boom. So make sure it is actually sitting underneath the overlay. And then you can set you know, whatever part of the camera you want um, to fit in that part of the overlay. So I'll just do it like that. And obviously you can zoom in, zoom out by just making this bigger. If you just want the player's faces, you know, you could zoom like that and put it there. Doesn't matter. So then obviously you're going to go and do that with your next player cam. So go ahead, add another device. There's your second one. Make it whatever size you want. Put it there, just don't forget. Put it behind the overlay. Behind. So next, let's go ahead and add our game. So you would think you would go in here and go to game capture, but no. If you're using a capture card, do not do that. Go back to video capture device and look for, you know, create new, and then find your capture card. Mine's an Elgato. Go to my Elgato. Boom, it's on the screen. Now, you'll notice that part of this is these giant black bars on the sides. Very obnoxious. Um, so you're going to have to crop. Now, this is something I've noticed a lot of new streamers don't know how to do, is crop something. Uh, I realize I'm getting crappy frames on this. Um, I think the audio is still coming through. So. I guess just bear with me on that. But to crop anything, um, hold Alt and click one of the circles and drag. Hold Alt, click one of the circles and drag. So crop your source. Crop those black bars out. We don't want them. Put your Elgato underneath your overlay but over your cameras, and then just, you know, make it fill the space. Wow, I got that right like the first try, that's insane. All right, so cool, we did it. We added our Elgato, um, we have everything. I am going to stop the Elgato because it was just murdering our frames. But it's there. We all know it's there. Woohoo. So you have your three video sources. 
Um, you have most of the stream. You're good. Um, if you're using Studio, oh, for your audio, make sure you go into your settings and find and choose your mic source. Um, if you unplug your your mic at some point or restart your computer, sometimes it'll reset your mic to like your laptop mic or whatever. Um, so just make sure you go into audio and go into mic auxiliary device and choose whatever your mic source is. So don't forget about that. Uh, but you'll notice it'll, you know, OBS Studio just picks it up right here automatically, so you're good with that. Um, so we have our game, which we'll, we're pretending is there. We have our two, our two cameras. So really the hard part is done. Um, now we have to add the browser source. Um, in OBS Classic, it'll be CLR browser source. Here in Studio, it is just browser source. So we go to that, browser source. Um, you'll see I already have a few added, but we'll just go ahead and do this. Okay, first, don't forget to change your resolution. Um, you know, I stream at 720. Um, you make the 60 frames. But just don't forget to change that re resolution. And then click local file, browse. Now, this, this is where you definitely need to pay attention. So we go back here. You have to go into the folder that is that corresponds with the overlay you are using. We're using the singles two cam overlay. So we go into singles. Not singles one cam, singles. Here, right here we have main, the HTML file, not the XML document, HTML file. Main, HTML file, open, cool, we got it. And I recommend checking this box, refresh browser when scene becomes active. Because that way, when you do a transition, the, the names and all that stuff, they won't just pop in automatically. They'll like fade in, like all cool-like. So just do that. Um, boom. OK. Now, everything should magically work, right? So it's all controlled by our stream control. Boom. So now this, what you just did, you just added a source that will control every single text field in every single overlay. Um, and it's all controlled by stream control. So we added that browser source. Make sure it's on top. Make sure it's on top. If you accidentally put this underneath your overlay, you won't see it, because all the text will be under the overlay. So put it on top. Then. Go to your stream control. Type in anything you want. Right? Whatever. Who cares? Um, blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, they're not doing friendlies. They're doing seriouslies. For real. Um, in, this, in this bottom part, that controls what round it is. Um, so if it was like, you know, winner's semis or loser's finals or whatever, it would pop up there. It will split this right here when you put a space in. If you put more than one space in, it will freak out and it won't do it right. So if you want to do like winner's round one, you can't do another space and put round one, it won't work. So just do like a dash or something, or an underscore. So winner's round one, you hit save or control S. I don't think you actually have to click it. And it's just running a little slow because I'm running two instances of OBS, so it's freaking out. But if you're only running one, it'll be a nice smooth transition. Um, and you'll get your winners round one up top. So you see it'll also you know, adjust the names. It does all that stuff for you. Pretty easy. Also, OK, 
characters. You have your drop down list. Pick whatever characters you want. Let's go DK and Ness. It's low tier tournament. Uh, poopy butt versus whatever that is. We hit save. And since it's slow, it's taking a sec. But on your computers, it should switch no problem. Right. There we go. Boom. So we get our DK. Switched in. Uh, Ness is hiding. The boy is scared. But yeah, everything is done through this, this program right here. Um, just add your sources. Add your video sources. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, nice thing about Studio is that every source is automatically a global source, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. So now, now that you kind of see how to set up one scene, um, they're all they're all the same. Put in the overlay. Uh, put in the HTML file. Just make sure you're going to the folder that has the that corresponds with the overlay you're using. So like, let's go to this one. I set up doubles to cameras. Um, I'll turn off the Elgato. But here we are. We have our doubles, our doubles overlay, two cameras, and it puts in all the names. All right, we got all the names. I don't know why they just disappeared. There we go. So you have. Back on stream control, you have player one and their partner, player two and their partner. So you see all the names popped up. Uh, you have their characters. Change score right here. You know, it's five to one. And this, this becomes useful in doubles. You can change the port. So let's say these people were really obnoxious and they didn't go one, two, three, four. They went one, four, two, three. One, four, two, three. Again, you just go to save. And it will adjust their port. It will adjust their score since I just changed that. But again, everything is done through this stream control. See, it changed the ports for us, changed the scores. Everything is beautiful. Um, so that's, that's how you set everything up. Um, do I even have the commentary one set up? Not really. Um, there we go. So, commentary, same thing. You just add your camera, add your overlay, add your browser source, and put in whatever names you want. Name, Twitter, name, Twitter, save. And everything will pop up for you. Someday. I feel like I'm in class. I'll wait. No, seriously, though. Come on. Oh, hey. I'm here. Sorry, Moosh. We're in close. There we go. Boom. Look at that. So nice. Oh, yeah. So, pretty easy to set everything up again. Now, one thing I do request from everybody. Let's say you're running your weekly, and you have you know, your scene, your weekly, whatever. You have your logo that you really want to use. Here's where you put it. Boom. Add an image source. Um, see, I did that here. I called it DH logo. Add your image source, and then go to, it's not properties. Crap, how did I do opacity? I forgot how I did opacity in studio. Um, I think it's filters. Yeah, I added a filter that was a color correction. Color correction filter. And right here you see there's a slider for opacity. Um, I turned it down to about 50% for this. Um, so that way, I'll just turn on the Elgato for a sec. You can see it faintly on the screen and everything's good. It's like I didn't even center that thing. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, super easy. Just add your logo right there at the bottom. Um, nice and transparent. Looks classy. Um, that's what I recommend anyway. 
Wrath Elgato. Cool. So I think that I think that's pretty much everything. Oh, we didn't add our transition. Let's do that. So last thing. Um, this is just if you want to be extra fancy, uh, go in here and add a media source. We are adding a media source. See, I already have one. So I'll just add a new one. It is a local file. We do not want it to loop. We do want to restart playback when source becomes active. And yeah. So you leave everything checked like that. Find your media source, which I believe I added on here. Videos. I gave you all a generic league transition. Um, I made one for myself that does the Dark House logo. But you add that in there. Um, Control F fits to the screen. So now, whenever I switch to another scene, oh my goodness, it automatically plays your transition. So let's say we went to commentary. You know, we're back to Kiro. Blah, blah, blah. Marie was just one. Let's go. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. You switch back to your game screen, and bam, hit with that sweet transition. Uh, so that will just automatically play every time you switch scenes. So you got that going for you, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll come out with nicer ones eventually, but that's my basic one for now. Um, that. I th oh, um, one thing I forgot to mention. Let's go back to cropping. Uh, I ran into this problem the other day, and I just could not figure out what was wrong with me. If you want to crop, I told you, just hold Alt and drag. Right, it crops. Now, there's a bug right now with OBS Studio. Let me add an image. If you add an image, and let's say it is some huge image, all right? Uh, what was a really big one I had? Oh, Enco. Enco was this big logo I had. Um, what? Was it in there? Oh, it's in here. I don't know why I have an image named Jim. All right, so I go into logos. This is just where I have like a bunch of random logos. Um, I pulled up the Enco one. When I added it, it's freaking huge. So what did I do? Oh, dude, these pixels kill me, Andy. Um, this thing is huge. So I didn't feel like, you know, dragging it, making it smaller, and then cropping it because that's annoying. When there's a shortcut, that just fits it to the screen, right? And then I'm like, oh, I'll just crop it from there. And then once I resized it, I was like, okay, now I'll crop it. And when I tried doing it, it didn't work. This is a bug in OBS Studio. If you put something out there and hit control F to fit to the screen, it will not let you crop. It won't let you do it. So make sure if you accidentally did that, you go back in to transform right here, reset transform. Reset the transform. You'll have to manually size it to whatever you want, but then it will let you crop. So yeah, that, that was a fun one. Um, just wanted to point that out so people didn't get super confused. Uh, but I think that's about it. Um, if you are streaming on the League channel, thanks. Um, you are helping us get a step closer to affiliated and partnered, which will help the League earn money. So you're doing this for the greater community. Um, and... And just because you're streaming on the League channel does not mean you have to upload everything to the League YouTube channel. Uh, we'd like it if you're running a major um, that you use the, U the League YouTube channel. But if you're just running your weekly, keep uploading videos to your channel. That is totally fine. Um, we just, want, again, we want people to use the League stream so that it can grow. That's our, that's our goal here. But I think I covered everything. Um, stream control, how to use it. Um, how to set up a scene in OBS. Uh, you guys should be good. Should be good. Um, as far as audio goes, 
make sure that because it will automatically take your audio from like your player cams and all that stuff. So make sure you go in here and you um, mute them. Make sure you go and like mute your player cams, um, mute your desktop audio. You don't want people listening to whatever weird stuff you're watching while the stream's happening. Um, and then like, you know, I have my Elgato, which is another audio source pops up. You can adjust the volume right here. Oh, studio's great. Um, can't wait to see which DK team wins. So that should be about it. Again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit me up on Facebook uh, or Twitter. Should be able to help you out there. Uh, but yeah, that that about that about wraps it up. Um, I don't see any questions in chat or viewers. So that.